Siouxland, make some noise for KCAU 9 Sports Zone with sports director Anthony Mitchell and sports anchor Noah Sacco. Your inside look at all the local sports action begins now. We're the Central Line cheerleaders. You're watching Sports Zone, and the highlights start now. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in, and welcome to the KCAU 9 Sports Zone for Rock'em Sock'em Noah Sacco. I'm Anthony Mitchell. In the words of Marv Levy, where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Words well said. And we folks, we have a ton in store for you tonight. Top matchups, big plays, and of course, those coveted Top Stop and Player of the Week awards. But first, we're going to start things out with our Sports Zone Game of the Week, a rivalry like no other in Northwest Iowa. A pair of unbeatens clash in Rock Rapids. Number one Central Lion, Georgia Little Rock, and number three West Lion squaring off in the Beef Bowl. CLGLR, they're in possession of the trophy. Now can the Wildcats bring it back home. The Lions have won the last two meetings, including the 2022 postseason match of Wildcats, aiming for some redemption here on the road. Opening drive we go, Iowa commit Reese Vanerty using his legs early on, making men miss on the outside for a big time gain. Move the chains, that's a CLGLR first down. Moments later, Lions going to the air for the Wildcats, make it hurt. Carter Vermeer tips it, that's an interception. What a play, Wildcat Nation. Coming unglued, staying scoreless after one quarter. More fireworks in the second. Bryson Childress avoiding pressure, letting it fly downfield. Picked off, that's Isaiah Johnson with the INT. Bad luck in the air for both teams tonight. Home team with the ball. Lions though, stall out, punting it away. Three minutes later, blocked by Jack Carolyn. Evan Holdring recovers for the Wildcats. Turnovers riddling the first half. Scoreless at the break, but CLGLR striking goal in the third quarter. Vanderzee on the goal line, keeps it. Rumbles in for the TD, 7-0 Lions. Vanderzee 144 yards on the ground. Central Lion George Little Rock staves off West Lions 7 0 to win their third consecutive Beef Bowl. Lions, your Class 2A District 1 champions. And Noah, what a way to start that off a premier, premier matchup between Class 2A teams aiming to make a run back to the Unidome. What weather they had to play that game in, right? But now it's time to get to the rest of tonight's action, starting right here in the Metro. Sergeant Bluff Luton welcoming Bishop Heelan on their home field. Warriors boasting a nine game win streak against Heelan. Crusaders aiming for their first win against its Metro foe since 2014. Visitors on the opening drive. Olsen on the option, tucking it and going. Olsen off to the races. Our defending sports zone player of the week. Winner shedding tackles left and right, and it's a foot race. Olsen cashing in for the first touchdown of the game. It's 7-0 Crusaders. SBL's turn to get on the board now. Another former Sports Zone Player of the Week finds Pater Xavion Ellington muscling his way in for the end zone. 7 TD of the season for him. Tie game. Home team knocking on the door. Ryan Hoffman on the keeper. Met by Kaysen Thomas in the backfield. But SBL would bounce back. Ellington, his second TD of the night. This game is all tied up at 14 apiece at half. But it's Bishop Heelan pulling away for the 34-14 win. Up next, Sioux City West hosting Fort Dodge. Wolverines down 12 zip in the second quarter. Fourth down now for Fort Dodge. Grant Williams back for the punt. He rolls out the fake, and they get a first down off that play. Very creative by the road team. That lead to the Dodgers touchdown. West now trailing 19 to nothing. Ensuing kickoff, Shamar Harrell back at the goal line to receive this one in the senior. We know he's quick. Showing off the elusiveness with the help of some blockers. Shout out to the special teams there. Bringing it around midfield. Wesso, unfortunately, can't capitalize on the big return. And just before halftime, Harold back at QB looking for his receiver. Colton Tiernan, he will take it instead for the Fort Dodge pick six. Fort Dodge defeats Sioux City West 48-6. Up next, West Sioux looking for its first win in the series against Hinton. This one brought to you by our friends at Metro Sports TV. Blackhawks in the red zone. Brogan Lake barrels it in from a couple yards out to get the scoring started for Hinton. Second quarter now, it is the home team handing it off to Bodie Binabosi. Great work by the offensive line to pave the way. It is touchdown Hinton. Look at that man go. Blackhawks staying true to that run game. Less than a minute before halftime, Hinton looking for more, and it's Gabe Anderson joining in on the fun, keeping it there and taking it all the way to the end zone as Hinton blanks West Sioux, 26 zip, the final. Another unbeaten team in Siouxland, that's number two, Woodbury Central, looking to improve to 8-0. West Monona with a chance to earn its first win and a huge upset. WC with the ball first, Wildcats cashing for the touchdown. Count it for Drew Clunder, extra point good. The rain only intensifying Spartans back in the ball. Wildcats coming up with a strip sack. 
Getting at the one yard line, credit Jackson Reblitz with the blitz and sack. That sets up Zach Butler with the rushing touchdown. The Butler did it. Wildcats up 14 zip. Woodbury Central remains unbeaten with the 55 to nothing win over West Minota. We have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere just yet. Plenty of big matchups on the other side of the break. Plus, who's going to bring home those Top Stop and Player of the Week awards? Some great candidates in our remaining games. Stay in the zone. We're the White Snow Trojan cheerleaders. Don't you dare change that dial. Sports Zone will be right back with you. Yeah! <laughs> 